still here, big dog. We got the Browns traveling to Philly. Eagles off a bye. Reports are saying that A.J. Brown is going to be back, and so is Devontae Smith. I got the Eagles winning, and I think they show, like, oh, a lot of people was talking about us, and that we're not good. Like, you just got smoked by Tampa. I think that you guys destroy Cleveland. I got the eight and a half. I I don't trust Cleveland's offense at all. The defense can do as much as they can, and JOK is having an all-pro type season. Uh, again, shout out to Notre Dame. But in Miles Garrett, it's Miles Garrett. But their offense, oh, I, I talked about being bad, but being, like, boring bad. Like, there's nothing worse than being, like, just, ugh, like, you hate to see your offense. Anytime, and I don't know any Browns fans, like, religious. I think I know one Browns fan in my entire life. And if I asked her, would she want Deshaun Watson or Jameis Winston? I think she would say put in Jameis. Because, again, Jameis might fuck around and throw an interception, but he also might fuck around and have a 75-yard touchdown pass. There's no in-between. So that's – just don't be boring, bro. Don't be boring. The Browns don't do anything that appeases the eye. They can't run the ball. They can't throw the ball. Amari Cooper looks washed. Even Njoku looks crazy, like, washed, even though he's coming off – like, he just came back from his first game. I don't, I don't know. Deshaun Watson, until proven otherwise, the one team that they beaten was Jacksonville. And I already told you that Trevor Lawrence is bad. So I have some faith in Jalen Hurts, some faith that he is going to, like, turn the season around. I'm not expecting him to win MVPs or anything, but I still think Jalen Hurts is a good quarterback until proven otherwise. But I think Deshaun Watson is at the bottom of the barrel. And they're going to go one and five, man. Obviously, it's a Shabazz's delight because they're in the AFC North. And it's always fade every team in the AFC North. But genuinely, the oh, like the Browns are they're back to the same old Browns, man. Uh, I got the Eagles. I'm like, let's not, let's not kid ourselves here. I got the Eagles. I just, the best thing that happened to the Eagles was a short buy, especially with the chaos that happened this week. Of like Cowboys winning, firing Robert Sala, like they haven't been in the media, and I think that's important for a team that's on the fight on the the edge of like falling apart and fracturing. It's is that it's also Devontae and AJ Brown coming back, huge bump in the offense. I it might be a blowout, it might be a blowout, like in. The defense can't play any worse than they have. They can't. So, like, we got to do it. You got to get it done. Because, again, also, Commanders, 4-1, if they lose their 4-2, it's not that big of a deal for them. When they lose, it's not that big of a deal for them. If Dallas wins against Detroit, they're 4-2. So, like, now that we're a third away, a third of the way through the season, you kind of got to start catching up. So I'm going rolling with Philly. I think they could win. Um, and that's pretty much.